Right now, a nonprofit group is working to find out why massive great white sharks are visiting our coastal waters each winter. The group is called O-Search, and it recently caught and tagged another giant shark. And Caitlin Stansel was aboard the research vessel when it happened. I am surrounded by water here on the O-Search vessel, but we are just a few miles off the coast of South Carolina. This crew is back off of Hilton Head Island here to catch and tag great white sharks. The morning started early and foggy as we left Hilton Head Island to meet up with the O-Search vessel. And just as we arrived, we found Helena was waiting to welcome us on board. We're all getting ready and prepared because they've caught what looks like another sub-adult white shark for us to uh, tag and sample. She is the first white shark caught off the South Carolina coast during O-Search's current expedition. We're 12 feet 1 inch. She will be added to O-Search's list of tagged white sharks with Hilton and Savannah who were caught in this area just two years ago. And researchers are starting to understand why these massive fish are flocking to our coastal waters. Okay, I need the bucket with the tag stuff. They're tagging the shark right now. They're going to get so much crucial data from this fish. The information gathered from sharks like Helena has shown experts the North Atlantic waters that span from Cape Canaveral, Florida to Cape Hatteras, North Carolina may be a foraging area for white sharks during the winter months. When we started the work in the Atlantic, so little was known. We just knew that there were some white sharks up in Massachusetts in the fall those sharks led us to here. So we're starting to see the puzzle shape up. And it's a good sign that they're showing up here because their presence indicates just how healthy our oceans are. Whenever we catch a shark and take these swabs of their skin and their gills, we also have to take a sample of the water and run the water through a filter um, so they can then yeah, get an idea of, of what sorts of bacteria are living in this water. As she swims back to sea, Scientists start analyzing and organizing the samples, which will now contribute to 17 different research projects. They're still, uh, uh, you know, trying to, to piece together what these animals are doing, why they're doing it, and how we are impacting them. There's still a lot of questions to be answered, and like I said, we're getting answers to them. But what is becoming clearer is why the South Carolina coastline seems to be a popular hangout spot for these apex predators. You look at all of the estuaries and all of the water that's basically flowing out of the southeastern United States into the ocean. This is an enormous area of life. There's tons of baits, tons of game fish chasing those bait, and then the, the food chain just goes up, up, up. So it shouldn't be shocking to anyone who looks at different regions of the world that the white shark would want to pile into this area to overwinter. Weather conditions delayed the crew from catching more while I was on board. But O-Search's vessel and boats will be in the water here through March 2nd. Off the coast of South Carolina, there you are. There you go, big girl. Caitlin Stansel, Live 5 News.